In the late 20th century, the world witnessed one of the most significant conflicts in the Middle East, known as the Persian Gulf War. Spanning from 1990 to 1991, this conflict had far-reaching implications for regional stability and international relations. The war was triggered by Iraq's invasion of Kuwait, an act that sent shockwaves across the globe and prompted a swift response from the international community. This video will take you through the key events of the war, as it unfolded in a timeline. Saddam Hussein, the Iraqi dictator, claimed that Kuwait was historically a part of Iraq and accused it of overproducing oil, driving down global oil prices. On August 2, 1990, Iraqi forces invaded Kuwait, quickly overpowering the Kuwaiti defenses and taking control of the country. This blatant act of aggression sparked outrage and fear among the neighboring Arab nations and the international community. The United Nations Security Council convened an emergency session the day after the invasion and passed Resolution 660, demanding an immediate and unconditional withdrawal of Iraqi forces from Kuwait. The world united in condemning Iraq's actions and imposing economic sanctions against the nation. In response to Iraq's aggression and to protect its allies in the region, the United States initiated Operation Desert Shield. The U.S. deployed a significant military presence to Saudi Arabia, forming a coalition with other nations, including the United Kingdom, France, Egypt, and others. The coalition aimed to defend Saudi Arabia and deter further Iraqi expansion. Over the next few months, coalition forces continued to build up in Saudi Arabia, with troops, tanks, aircraft, and naval vessels arriving to form a formidable defense. Diplomatic efforts to resolve the crisis through negotiation and peaceful means continued, but Saddam Hussein remained defiant. As diplomatic efforts faltered, the UN Security Council set a deadline of January 15, 1991, for Iraq to withdraw its forces from Kuwait or face military action. This deadline provided one last opportunity for a peaceful resolution to the conflict. With the UN deadline expired and Iraq still occupying Kuwait, the coalition forces, led by the United States, launched Operation Desert Storm, a massive air campaign against Iraqi targets. Precision-guided missiles and airstrikes targeted Iraqi military installations, communication centers, and airfields. The coalition's air campaign devastated Iraq's military capabilities and infrastructure. Iraqi forces fired Scud missiles at Israel and Saudi Arabia in a desperate attempt to provoke retaliation and fragment the coalition. Despite these attacks, Israel, at the request of the United States, refrained from entering the conflict to prevent further escalation. After weeks of intense airstrikes, the coalition launched a ground offensive into Kuwait on February 24, 1991. The Allied forces rapidly overwhelmed the Iraqi troops, and by February 26-27, Kuwait was liberated. The retreating Iraqi forces suffered heavy losses, and the coalition managed to push them back into Iraq. Following the successful liberation of Kuwait, the coalition and Iraq agreed to a ceasefire on February 28, 1991. Despite some calls for marching to Baghdad and overthrowing Saddam Hussein's regime, the coalition forces withdrew from Iraq, ending the war. However, Saddam remained in power, and this would have significant implications for future conflicts in the region. The Persian Gulf War had far-reaching consequences. Kuwait was restored to its sovereignty, and the coalition forces demonstrated their military prowess. However, it also left lasting effects on the region, with Iraq's infrastructure and economy severely damaged. The war also sowed seeds of discontent and distrust, setting the stage for future conflicts in the Middle East, including the Iraq War of 2003. This is it for today. We shall meet again with another such video. Till then keep healthy and keep informed. Peace out.